Voyager. One stands as the farthest traveled human creation, now drifting through the unknown expanses of interstellar space. Over 14 billion miles from home, it still manages to send signals back to Earth, echoes of a mission launched nearly half a century ago. Alongside decades of scientific data, it also carries humanity's golden record, a snapshot of life on Earth meant for any who might one day find it. But recently, something strange happened. NASA's newly integrated Quantum AI system picked up an anomaly within the spacecraft's latest transmission. At first glance, it looked like routine telemetry, but buried within the familiar stream was something unanticipated, a peculiar recurring pattern that defied normal decoding. Was it a glitch, a cosmic coincidence, or something we've never encountered before? How Voyager 1 came to be. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, part of an ambitious NASA mission to explore the outer reaches of the solar system. Its sister ship, Voyager 2, actually departed Earth earlier by a few weeks, but Voyager 1 was placed on a faster trajectory. These two spacecraft were successors to the earlier Mariner and Pioneer probes, but they were built for something far more daring – deep space travel. The mission was made possible thanks to a rare planetary alignment that occurs just once every 176 years. This configuration allowed the spacecraft to use a series of gravitational assists to sling past the gas giants, an efficient way to gain velocity and extend its reach. Voyager 1 focused primarily on Jupiter and Saturn. After its Saturn encounter, it was directed to ascend above the solar system's plane, putting it on a course toward interstellar space. The idea at the time was simple. Maximize science return during two key planetary flybys. But what no one anticipated was how far this journey would ultimately go. Built for the unknown. Designed and assembled at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, Voyager 1 was engineered to endure extreme radiation, the absence of sunlight, and vast communication delays. Because it would travel too far from the sun to use solar energy, the probe was powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, fueled with plutonium-238. These RTGs convert heat from radioactive decay into electricity, giving the spacecraft enough power to run its systems for decades. Voyager's main antenna, a 3.7-meter wide dish, serves as its lifeline to Earth, transmitting everything its instruments record. In its early days, Voyager's data transfer rate was respectable, measured in kilobits per second. Today, that rate has plummeted due to distance, requiring sensitive receivers on Earth to interpret even the faintest whisper from the spacecraft. Its scientific payload includes a suite of instruments, two imaging cameras, a cosmic ray sensor, a magnetometer, and systems to study plasma and particles. Each was carefully positioned to minimize internal interference. The magnetometer, for instance, was mounted on a boom extending from the body to escape the influence of the spacecraft's own electronics. Even in the 1970s, engineers anticipated the challenges of deep space. Components were radiation-hardened, redundancies were built into critical systems, and software routines were included to detect and recover from errors. These decisions would prove crucial as the decades wore on. Voyager's Encounter with the Giants Voyager 1's path took it first to Jupiter in early 1979. What it found there exceeded expectations, swirling storms, high-altitude lightning, and perhaps most surprising of all, volcanic eruptions on Io, Jupiter's moon. It was the first time active volcanism had been observed beyond Earth. The probe also revealed Europa's icy crust, Ganymede's fractured terrain, and Callisto's ancient impact scars. Its magnetometers detected Jupiter's immense magnetic field extending far beyond the planet, and its sensors endured the harsh radiation belts surrounding the gas giant. In 1980, the spacecraft arrived at Saturn, capturing unprecedented images of the planet's rings, revealing fine structures, mysterious spokes, and gravitational ripples. Voyager 1 also studied Titan, Saturn's largest moon, 
discovering its thick atmosphere composed mostly of nitrogen, denser even than Earth's. Following its Saturn flyby, Voyager 1's trajectory was set. While Voyager 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune, Voyager 1 climbed above the ecliptic plane and began its journey out of the solar system. Thus began the Voyager Interstellar mission, a phase that would last far beyond anyone's predictions. Crossing the threshold of the solar system. Beyond Saturn, Voyager 1 ventured into an increasingly unfamiliar zone, the outer reaches of the heliosphere, where the solar wind begins to lose its grip. This vast bubble of solar influence eventually gives way to the interstellar medium, a transition marked by the heliopause. In August 2012, NASA made a landmark announcement. Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. The evidence was clear. Its instruments detected a spike in high-energy cosmic rays and a drop in solar particles. Plasma wave data also suggested that the spacecraft had passed into a denser region of space. The transition wasn't abrupt. It unfolded over time, but the data left little doubt. Voyager 1 had crossed the boundary. It was no longer just a solar system explorer. It had become the first human object to touch interstellar space. Now its mission was clear. Report back on this alien region of space, where the sun's influence fades and the galaxy begins to dominate. A signal that doesn't belong. Then came the anomaly. In March of a recent year, NASA's mission team noticed that Voyager 1's telemetry, critical data about its health and systems, began returning corrupted. The once clear data was replaced with what looked like digital noise, garbled bits, incomprehensible strings, a static-filled echo. Initial theories blamed aging hardware. After all, the spacecraft was built in the 1970s and had been bombarded by cosmic radiation for decades. Engineers tried standard recovery procedures, memory resets, switching to backup systems, re-uploading commands, but nothing worked. The signal didn't just stay broken, it evolved. The corruption had structure. Patterns emerged, subtle, repeating sequences that looked deliberate. That's when NASA's younger researchers suggested using an experimental analysis tool, an AI-enhanced quantum algorithm originally developed to find non-random signals in cosmic background radiation. To their astonishment, the results indicated repetition and structure, far too organized to be dismissed as noise from a decaying chip. More than just a glitch? NASA exercised caution. They've seen software mirages before, cases where statistical analysis creates false patterns in meaningless data. But this case didn't go away. The quantum AI consistently returned the same result. The signal, while unintelligible, was not random. Public statements referred to it as a telemetry anomaly. But internally, some began to wonder, was Voyager 1 picking up interference from an unknown source? Was it reacting to something, or could it be transmitting something it had observed? One theory, controversial but growing, is that the anomaly may represent some unknown interaction in the interstellar medium. Others point to the possibility of a self-correcting system attempting to reconfigure itself. Still, the most speculative among researchers wonder aloud, could this be a message? Not from Voyager, but through Voyager. Voyager's legacy and the questions ahead. As Voyager 1 drifts deeper into the void, it carries with it a symbol of our curiosity, the golden record, a time capsule filled with music, greetings, and data about Earth. Its destination, unknown, its message, meant for whoever or whatever might one day find it. But now, Voyager may be sending us something too. Whether the anomaly turns out to be a failing memory chip or the first sign of something we don't yet understand, one thing is certain, Voyager 1 still has stories to tell, and we're still listening. Diagnosing a 47-year-old spacecraft from billions of miles away. When NASA faces technical trouble aboard a spacecraft 15 billion miles from home, quick fixes are not an option. 
Every command sent to Voyager 1 takes over 20 hours to arrive, and replies take just as long, making real-time troubleshooting impossible. The process is slow, deliberate, and built on careful steps, isolating faulty memory regions, rerouting data through backup systems, or using alternative hardware pathways. In this case, engineers zeroed in on the Flight Data Subsystem, FDS, the digital heart of Voyager's data transmission. They suspected that the memory address traditionally used to store system health data, known as housekeeping telemetry, was deteriorating. Commands were sent to shift that data into different memory locations. While the response wasn't perfect, it showed signs of life. Orientation readings, power levels, and temperature data began trickling back in normal form. Still, odd bursts of indecipherable data persisted. That's when quantum computing researchers, working in parallel with NASA's engineers, flagged something strange. The remaining corrupted data wasn't entirely random. Patterns emerged. Sequences appeared to repeat. That hint of structure kicked off deeper analysis. Confirming the signal was real. To rule out interference on Earth, NASA performed isolation tests. Raw radio waveforms were captured from the Deep Space Network, DSN, and checked before any digital decoding occurred. Ground stations across the globe confirmed the same thing. The irregular patterns were genuine. They originated from Voyager 1 itself, not from any earthly noise or network artifact. By late spring, NASA cautiously announced that some telemetry systems had been restored. However, they also acknowledged lingering anomalies in the data stream. Officially, hardware degradation remained the most likely explanation, while the quantum-assisted analysis was described as experimental support rather than proof of anything extraordinary. Behind the scenes, classical systems engineers remained skeptical of jumping to conclusions. They knew how easy it is to see patterns where none exist, especially when analyzing degraded data with next-gen tools. More evidence was needed. Understanding the Flight Data Subsystem FDS. The Flight Data Subsystem is Voyager 1's nerve center for handling information. It collects scientific data and spacecraft status reports, packages them into organized frames, applies error correction, and hands them off to the transmitter for their long journey to Earth. Built in the 1970s with early integrated circuits, the FDS has performed reliably for decades. Originally, it ran from read-only memory with separate zones for temporary operations. Though Voyager received minor software updates during its planetary flybys, its core architecture has remained unchanged. Failures in the FDS can lead to missing data, scrambled messages, or full-frame corruption. But what makes the current situation so peculiar is that some corrupted data shows repeating patterns, something not typically seen with hardware malfunctions, which usually cause more random and chaotic errors. Given the FDS's central role, any external phenomenon, natural or artificial, would need to pass through it to be embedded in the downlink. Some have floated the idea that Voyager might be unintentionally picking up patterns from interstellar plasma or even interference beyond our current models. But NASA's tests confirm that the data anomalies are not coming from the DSN or from Earth's atmosphere. They're embedded in the actual signal being sent by the spacecraft. The main recovery method? Patch around the problem. NASA has rerouted memory writes to backup addresses, carefully avoiding known corrupted areas. There's also a fallback option, switching to the redundant FDS built into the spacecraft. But after nearly five decades in space, that backup hardware may be just as fragile. For now, keeping the current system limping along remains the safer bet. The Golden Record, a legacy artifact, one of Voyager 1's most enduring symbols is the Golden Record, mounted on the spacecraft's exterior. Created under the guidance of Carl Sagan, this gold-plated disc contains a curated selection of Earth sounds, music, greetings, and scientific diagrams intended as a cultural time capsule for any extraterrestrial life that might encounter it. Though the Golden Record is analog and purely physical, it has no connection to Voyager's radio systems or digital telemetry, 
it has captured the public imagination for decades. People often think of Voyager 1 not just as a probe, but as Earth's ambassador to the stars. With recent telemetry glitches making headlines, speculation resurfaced. Could the odd patterns in the data somehow reference the golden record? NASA was quick to clarify, there is no direct link. The record isn't connected to the spacecraft's communication systems in any way. Still, the very idea that Voyager might one day receive an answer from the cosmos keeps the legend alive, even if the current data issue is more likely a failing memory chip than a message from beyond. Communicating across interstellar space Voyager 1 is now well over 15 billion miles from Earth, with a gap widening each second. At that range, signal strength is incredibly faint, barely a whisper above the cosmic background. NASA relies on the largest antennas of the DSN, some as wide as 70 meters, to detect Voyager's weak pulses. Powerful amplifiers and advanced decoding systems piece together meaningful data from these nearly lost fragments. Each communication cycle takes nearly 45 hours round trip, one full day to send a command, another to receive a response. There's no instant feedback. Every move is calculated, slow, and deliberate. To conserve power, NASA must carefully choose which instruments to run and when, often shutting down heaters or sensors to keep the transmitter alive. Since March, the persistent irregularities in the data stream have raised questions. Could something else be riding along the signal? A deeper layer? Again, NASA has no concrete evidence of anything intentional, but the complexity of the patterns remains unusual, especially since they appear across multiple frequency bands and aren't filtered out by alternative downlink methods. Voyager 1's interstellar science continues, even as engineers wrestle with corrupted telemetry, Voyager 1 continues to deliver invaluable science from a region no other human-made object has explored. Its instruments measure cosmic rays, charged particles that originate from distant supernovae and travel across the galaxy. By comparing readings from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, scientists map how these particles interact with interstellar magnetic fields. The spacecraft's magnetometer shows that deep space is not uniform. Waves of magnetized plasma ripple through it, sometimes the faint echoes of solar outbursts traveling billions of miles before weakening into subtle pressure fronts. When these pass Voyager, its sensors record the impact, giving researchers clues about how far the sun's influence extends. There's also the dust detector, which occasionally registers tiny grains slamming into the spacecraft. Each impact is a data point, a signpost of the dust distribution in the interstellar medium. This dust, the building block of future stars and planets, helps scientists piece together how solar systems form across the galaxy. Engineering Perseverance, Scientific Legacy Communicating with Voyager 1 is a constant exercise in precision and patience. The team must compensate for signal drift, power limitations, and now, possible memory failures. Yet despite the odds, they keep succeeding. Bit by bit, data continues to arrive. And Voyager's legacy doesn't stop with science. NASA's recent use of quantum-enhanced tools like the Majorana 1 chip points to the future of deep space exploration, where new technologies might help decode faint or complex signals that classical methods might miss. Still, NASA maintains a conservative stance. Until a pattern is rigorously proven, all anomalies must be treated as likely technical errors. Voyager 1's mission will end when it no longer has enough power to transmit. That day is approaching, but it's not here yet. Until then, every signal is one more chance to learn, to adapt, and to stretch human understanding a little further. When the spacecraft finally goes dark, its final years, riddled with glitches, surprises, and human ingenuity, will be remembered as the closing act of one of the boldest space missions in history.